हेलो एवरी वन हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द चैनल केमिकल इंजीनियर आई एम साहिल यादव एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू अवर केमिकल टेक्नोलॉजी सब्जेक्ट कोर्स एंड अप टिल नाउ वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट फर्टिलाइजर इंडस्ट्रीज सल्फर इंडस्ट्रीज एंड सो ऑन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग अवर न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज द क्लोर आल्कली इंडस्ट्रीज ओके so i am sai yadav and you are watching to me on chemical engineer so if you haven't subscribed to us till now please subscribe us now okay so let's start the video so what are chlor alkali industries okay so in this video we are only going to study about the basics of chlor alkali industries so mainly in chlor alkali so the word itself suggest that the industry related to chlorine and alkali so alkali is nothing but the first series in the periodic table so alkali metals so it generally should have a sodium so in this industries we generally prepare soda ash caustic soda and chlorine so these three are the major or i would say these three are only the uh, components that are produced in the chlor alkali industry so soda as is the na2co3 caustic soda is nmh and chlorine chlorine is useful in many things so let us see what and what are the different application of this products so this industries are widespread as because electrolysis of nacl that is the okay so electrolysis so question one of this video is what is electrolysis so nacl brine okay question two of this video is what is brine nacl brine means what so furnishes over 90% of chlorine so nacl is the main product or raw material for the production of uh, chlor alkali products so nacl is the only main product for production of naoh nacl uh, naoh cl2 and na2co3 okay so this chlorine is produced and it also produce naoh so in generally we have na2co3 plant separately and we have a plant in which naoh and cl2 both are produced so you may be knowing the reaction of nacl when it dissociate NaOH plus Cl2 is produced in uh, aqueous medium. Okay, so this is the basic reaction for uh, formation of NaOH and Cl2. So uh, these both are produced in a same plant. Now let us see the application. Okay, so we will see the application of all the three products. So soda ash. soda ash is also known as a baking soda so this baking soda is known in the and uh, used in the food industry as a acidity regulator anti caking agent and as a stabilizer okay next uh, this soda as na2co3 is the main ingredient for the formation of soap so in your btech you must have done the experiment of formation of soap so in that we use na2co3 so that is why soap in order to maintain the ph of the soap this na2co3 is much used similarly in chemical industries light soda ash is used in the production in many chemicals no need to worry we have already used in sodium phosphate sodium carbonate okay so that is sodium silicate okay so sodium silicate is also a very useful material for the chemical industries because it has much wider applications and photographic chemicals so question 3 of this video is what are photographic chemicals okay so you have to answer three uh, questions uh, in the comment section okay other application is used as a electrolyte because it is a good conductor of electricity electricity and hence can be used in electrolysis okay 
okay so and it is also used in a dyeing so how it looks what how we produce it that we will see in the next video next sodium hydroxide so sodium hydroxide is the basic material which is a very reactive material so it is used in a manufacturing of soap and detergent it is the main product for the formation of soap and detergent it is used in a bleach like chlorine so as i have discussed that both the plants of the chlorine as well as NOH are in the same site drain cleaner so in order to remove acidity we use NOH which is an alkaline metal okay alkaline substance i would say so similarly it is used in the removal of heavy metal from water as well as in water treatment so if you have ever visited a water treatment plant you would always find sodium hydroxide so how it is uh, present there so it is not directly present there because it uh, forms or it vigorously or exothermically reacts with water hence it is present in the form of Na2CO3 generally as well as in silicates form okay similarly it is used as a food preservative so in your food preservative packet you would always find NaOH directly there are there is a written that NaOH is present in the food preservatives similarly it is used in a canning so canning is nothing but a process of formation of cans okay, okay so in order to pack the cans we will use this NaOH similarly in paper industries okay so paper recycling NaOH is mostly used next is the chlorine so chlorine is generally you all know in the swimming pools so okay so first use of chlorine is in the swimming pools because it is a disinfectant and similarly it bleaches the water and also it is effective against E. coli bacteria okay similarly it can be used as a poisonous gas because chlorine is not a uh, easy or safely uh, safety gas it is a poisonous gas so it may be used for the army purpose it is generally used in making plastic okay so ch2 ch cl is the pvc okay so it is generally used in the making of plastic okay so pvc is the plastic type okay similarly chlorine in bromine extraction so in your 12th or 10th you would have heard about bromine extraction so in the because they replaces the bromine okay so bromine is separated so that is the bromine extraction similarly for anesthetics in the pharmaceutical industries chlorine is also used chloroform ch hcl uh, chcl3 okay or chcl or we can say chcl or chx cly okay so that is was the chloroform or other compounds so that is where also chlorine is used kill maggots in animals okay so that is the disinfectant okay so these are all the three materials that we are going to start from the next video okay so this is a source i will share the link so just watch it the different uses and safety of chlorine all right so i end this video here in the next video we will start with the production of soda hash all right so thank you for watching and i end this video here if you haven't subscribed us please subscribe us okay thank you